Welcome to Cool Happenings. Everything I find cool and amazing. Your one-stop channel for all your accessible tech solutions. Hey there! Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Welcome back to Cool Up News Tech Accessibility Channel. And in today's demonstration I will talk about an app called Recorder HQ where we may use it to perform audio editing. I believe I have not done any audio editing demonstrations as yet. I have done video editing but I have not done audio editing. So for this demonstration, I am going to talk about how we may do audio editing using the app called Recorder HQ. Now I have the app, okay this demonstration is going to be in two parts. The first part would be on editing an audio which I will select from iCloud using the Recorder HQ app and on the second part on the second uh, demonstration, I'll talk about how we may convert that edited audio to uh, an iPhone ringtone. Not to be, you will not be able to edit, edit, uh, add the ringtone to your ringtones folder, but you may convert it to M4R, thereby giving you an option to create iPhone ringtones, which then you may use in other applications to be added to your iPhone ringtone folder. For instance, use it in the GarageBand application, which has also been demonstrated in this channel, and learn how to add the, the discrete ringtone from this tutorial into the GarageBand and add it to your ringtone folder. Okay, so without further ado, let's proceed. Now, the app is called Recorder HQ, so let's go to Recorder HQ. Recorder HQ. Yep, one finger double tap to launch. Recorder HQ. Back to record. Button. Okay, once you launch the app, you'll be uh, you know, uh, positioned at the very top of the screen. Where you'll get back to record. If you double tap on back to record, you will get the record button to record. And then if you swipe left, minus 50 dB. Let's swipe left all the way to the top. Settings button. Recorder HQ. The settings. settings. Button. You can go to the settings. You get the option to change a few parameters, including purchasing the premium version. Now, the purchase premium option pop up will appear from time to time, as this is a free application. But the free and the purchase, the only difference is the annuance in the free version. This version is the free, as it will appear from time to time. The pop-up also appears, but the free, the premium version does not have ads and the pop-up goes away. Alright, so let's swipe right. We get settings. Recorder HQ. Heading. Okay, this is the heading. File list. Button. Okay, what we want to do is, for, to trim an audio, we need to make a selection. You can record your voice, but I would rather choose an audio I have in my uh, iCloud folder. So I'll go into file list. Back to record. Button. Oh, let's swipe. Selected. File. Button. Okay. One of two. You have a two selection. File. Below will be playlist. Playlist. Button. Okay, two of two. Left to and um, double confirm and file. Selected. Okay. File. Button. Selected. One of two. So it's been selected. Now let's swipe right. Playlist. Button. Two of two. Okay, this, you have two choices. Swipe right. Edit. Button. Edit. Search. Search field. Okay, now we're going to our... Uh, our iCloud folder which we have uh, in our iPhone. Let's swipe right. Folder, iCloud, okay, button. Okay, I'll double tap on folder iCloud. There are a few options here. I've in fact already selected an audio. You'll see it somewhere below here. Want to make a selection, let's swipe right. Play, button. If you play, play, you're going to play the audio which I've just selected. In this case, this a uh, piece of audio track which I want to trim and use as to create a ringtone for my coming demonstration, so swipe right. Ask for you intro music. 
MP3. This is the Scott Dash for your intro music. It's a piece of audio where you hear a voice saying the word preview three times continuously for around 40 seconds. Total audio duration is 40 seconds. So, right? New folder. Button. You can create a new folder if you would like to. To add your created um, or trim or you know, edited audio tracks. Wi Fi transfer. Button. You can transfer by Wi Fi if you like to. Cloud management. And button. you can double tap on cloud management, which will take you into all the various apps, the usual drill, you know, all the installed apps, cloud apps you have on your iPhone. And I'm going to scroll left to iCloud. Wi Fi transfer. To show how I made the selection initially. New folder. Ask me for you in play. Folder. iCloud. Button. Okay, I will double tap on folder iCloud. Double tap. Folder. File. Back button. Now, okay, now we swipe. We are in the iCloud folder in our iPhone. That's why. Documents. Heading. Okay, no, okay, documents. Edit. Button. Edit. Search. Search, Search. field. Swipe right. File. Ask me for you intro music. MP3. Date. 4 slash 29 slash 19. Length. 40 seconds. Button. Okay, 40 seconds. This Actions available. The, this is the order I just selected, but just for the sake of demo, I'll select it again. Now it says actions available, so up. Move file. Move file. I'll so swap up to uh, activate. Rename. Share. Forward 10. Rewind 10. Play. Delete. Activate. activate default. Now the app get the audio get selected. Once that's done, then you gotta go, out, go back over to the top of the screen. Okay. File name. Okay. Ask me for you intro music. MP3. Documents. Back button. Okay, Quick nav on. Documents. Back. Heading. Play. Okay. Zero seconds. Button. Okay, now Adjustable. Now made the selection. It took some time. I was a little surprised what was happening, but it made the selection. Just took some time. Now, from the very top of the screen, once you made your selection, start from the very top of your iPhone screen. Documents. Back button. And that's why. File name. Ask me for you intro music. MP3. Okay, as I mentioned, this song, this audio track is called Asthma for Your MP3 Intro Music. It's an audio track where you will hear a voice say the words preview three times continuously for uh, 40 seconds in total duration. Now you know what the audio is, what the audio is about. So that's us swipe, right? Updated. April 29th, 8th. File size, 1, 6 megabyte. Okay, I'm swiping right, by the way, that's the file size. Quality, 44.1 kilohertz. That's the audio quality. Zero seconds played. At the moment, I've not played anything, so it says zero seconds. So I'm right. Play position, zero seconds, zero percent. Adjustable. Okay, now that's the play position. It's currently set to zero seconds. So I'm right. 40 seconds left. There's 40 seconds left. We have not, I've not played anything, so there's still 40 seconds left. So I'm right. Repeat range select button. You can create a repeat range for it to repeat playback if you like to, but I want to trim, so I'm going to swap right. Rewind 10 seconds. Button. Okay, can Adjustable. 10 seconds. You can rewind uh, depending on the choice you would like to make. So right. Play. Zero seconds. Button. So Adjustable. Currently is playing on a play at zero seconds. Let's see what other option we have below here. Forward 10 seconds. Button. Okay, forward Adjustable. 10 seconds. Tags. Button. You can add tags if you choose to. Volume. 80%. Adjustable. You can increase or decrease the playback volume by swiping up and down like it follows. 90. 100%. It gets louder. 90. 80%. 100% would be too loud. So let's swipe right. I've reduced it to 80%. Swipe right. Airplay. Button. You can airplay the audio if you like to to your Airplay connected devices. Right. Swipe right. Loop off. Button. You can loop the music, then loop on, where you play back in a continuous loop. Change playing speed, 1x, adjustable. You can change the playing speed from 1x to a couple, uh, 1x would be normal, would be a normal playback speed. So I'm up. 1, 25x. 1.25. 1, 5x. 1.5. 1, 75x. 1.75. 2x. 2. 0, 5x. 0, 7, 1x. We can return it to normal playback speed, swipe right. Share button. You can share the audio if you like to, if you choose to, it's, uh, you know, share it to 
apps are there. The apps installed on your iPhone, swipe right. Merge button. You can merge two or more just by double tapping on merge here. Then it will be in a different demonstration, but for now, I'm going to show how you may edit by trimming in audio. Trim button. Okay, so we double tap on trim. Once you double tap, give it some time to load. Okay, now let's start swiping from the very top of the screen as usual. Trim, start zero seconds, stop 40 seconds, okay. button. You can't leave set to stream start zero, stop 40. If that would mean you're streaming the entire audio, which would not make any sense anyway, so that's swipe right. Trim, button. Okay, stream button, double tap, swipe right, I mean, sorry, swipe right. It's still it's trim button trim trim button trim button trim start zero seconds stop forty seconds okay. button just the trim button we just double tap on start zero stop forty trim start zero seconds stop forty seconds okay button. now you double tap you can make your uh, adjust the configuration or start and stop do a position double tap here alert zero seconds. Okay, so I'll write. Configure trimming duration. Now you can configure your trimming duration as I just mentioned. So I'll write. Configure start position now, button. Okay. I would like to trim the first uh, you know, part of the audio where the voice says preview first one time. I do not want for it to repeat saying the word preview. So to me, that's just well, annoying. So I will double tap on C. Configures and position button. We'll double tap on configure and position. If you double tap on configure start position, if you double button. tap on start position, it will trim from where you start playback till the end. Okay, but I want to trim the first portion of the audio where the voice says preview. So I'll select configure and position. Configure trimming, configure start position button. Configures and position configures button. Configures and position one finger double tap. Cancel button. Now let's swipe from the very top of the iPhone screen. Trim. Heading. Trim. Zero seconds played. Zero seconds played. Yes, that's true. 40 seconds left. 40 seconds left. Play position. Zero seconds. Zero percent. Yep. Adjustable. Swipe right. Play. Zero seconds. Button. It's Adjustable. Play at zero seconds. Now let's double tap to hear the audio being playback. One finger double tap here. Seconds adjustable pause three seconds button adjustable play 11 seconds adjustable. Okay, the audio has been paused at 11 seconds. If you notice the voice said preview once. Now, I would like to trim from the beginning to the end position just after the voice says preview the first time. So, I paused it at the time I believe it's around 11 seconds. Now, I'll swipe right. Trim, start zero seconds, stop zero seconds, button. Start zero, stop zero. Trim, button. Now we will double tap on swipe left. Trim, start zero seconds, stop zero seconds, Start button. zero, stop zero, double tap. Alert, 11 seconds. Now swipe right. Configure trimming duration. Configure trimming duration, swipe right. Configure start position, button. Configure start position. Configure end position. Button. We again double tap on configures and position. Cancel button. Now let's swap again. Trim heading. Trim heading, swap right. 11 seconds played. 11 seconds played, yes, that's right, swap right. 29 seconds left. Remainder 29, 29 seconds, swap right. Play position 11 seconds, 27%. Adjustable. Play position at 27%, which is around 11 seconds, swap right. Play 11 seconds. Button adjustable. Play. If you double tap it, it will play from from uh, 11 seconds till the end. But we want to uh, trim the first 11 seconds or so, right? Trim, start zero seconds, stop 11 seconds. Button. Start zero, stop 11 seconds. That's what we want. So we made the initial adjustment. Now let's swap right. Trim button. And now double tapping on trim will trim. We trim the audio from the beginning to the to the 11 second position just after the voice says the word 
preview the first first uh, first time one finger double tap on trim trim quick nav off alert text field is editing after making your trim you'll be required to give a new uh, audio track title so i'll give it i'll call it uh, what's this what's it called right now c i f u u s i c it's music space music i'll call it music uh, edited uh, or trimmed t r I F F E D. Quit nav on. Tap on done. Cancel button. Done button. Tap. Play now, position. Okay. Eleven seconds. Twenty-seven percent. Okay, Adjustable. Now the trim module will be saved and uh, stored in your iCloud. So let's locate the file. Let's go back. Documents. Back button. Let's go back. File. Asthma for you. Intro music trimmed. MP3 okay, date less than one meter length. 11 okay, seconds. This is the trim version. You have trimmed it. Now it's, it appears in your file list in your iCloud folder. Let's activate this uh, track to listen to how it sounds after being trimmed and edited. Move file. Rename. Share. Forward 10 sec. Rewind 10 sec. Play. Uh, activate. Delete. Activate. Double Default. Tap, activate. File. Play. Now, Zero seconds. Button. Okay, Adjustable. Play to listen to our edited or trimmed version of our audio track. One finger double tap. And yes, we have successfully trimmed the first 11 seconds where the voice says preview only once. Now, this will be, be all for this demonstration and in the coming demonstration I will show you all how you may use this 11 seconds to convert it into a ringtone where after which you may use it to be added into your iPhone as a ringtone by using other apps like GarageBand for instance or your iTunes on your PC Alright, both are possible options but let's show in the next demonstration have a wonderful and amazing day ahead.